Hey guys, I'm going to compare Notion, ClickUp, Nimbus and OneNote with each other and I'm going to rate them by giving points from 1 to 10 for note taking, tasks making, design and the overview. So make sure to watch until the end to see which app gets the most points. As I said in my other videos, Notion is more like a construct which enables you to create your own system, whereas the other apps have more or less systems already built in for you. So keep that in mind when choosing for the right app. If you're more of a creative, self-developing type of guy, then I advise you to stick to Notion. But if you're unsure about that and you want to know more about the other apps, then I would recommend to continue this video. Let's start with the overview. Nimbus provides you with these two sidebars. You can set up folders here in which you can create as many nodes as you want. One such node would be this. In Notion you can set up pages, which can then be divided into more sub-pages. And within these sub-pages you can create this inception like sub-sub-pages and go on with that. The idea behind ClickUp is to have spaces within your workspace, divided into folders and lists. In OneNote you also have two sidebars and it's actually similar to Nimbus. You're able to create sections and then create as many documents as you want. I'm gonna give all apps each a 9 out of 10 for the overview, except Notion and OneNote, which are going to get 8 out of 10. Notion because of the principle that you need to create your own overview first, which is troublesome for some people. So you see my rating is based on the interests and needs of all types of persons. Regarding OneNote, it has a really good endless space feature, which I really appreciate. However, the lack of structure is at the same time the limiting factor of your productivity. I realized this as I always wasted my time searching for the right key points. And there isn't really a way to sort the notes, which makes it hard to find the information you're looking for. That's why it gets 8 points for the overview. Let's continue with note taking. Notion provides you with all necessary features which are things like this. You mark your written text and this table pops up. Something like a quick adjustment. Here you can make your text bold, italic or underline it. Or turn your text into a heading. This is something I use quite often. You can also add an URL, for example this YouTube video, which then turns into a box showing the thumbnail. I'm gonna give it a 9 out of 10 because for a 10 in my opinion they would need to provide more features like in Microsoft Word for example. But 9 is pretty high already. ClickUp provides like in Notion all the important features from normal text to titles. You can also add YouTube videos by copy pasting the URL like in Notion. It's going to get a 9 out of 10 too for the same reason as in Notion. In Nimbus you can also type as much as you want. There is no limit and you can also do quick settings and choose a numbered or bullet list. The only thing that bothers me somehow is the distance between the lines. And at first glance I can't find a way to change it into a smaller distance. So that's why it gets an 8 out of 10. OneNote is special regarding note taking. Due to its affiliation with Microsoft Office, it provides you with the same functions as in Word, which is wonderful. There are many useful things you can use like for example this drawing feature or draw manually with a pen. That's why I'm gonna give it a 10 out of 10 for note taking. Next is the task making feature. In Notion there are many ways to make tasks. I made myself this window like tabs. When you click on one then a sub page opens. Here you have the possibility to do more. You could also change the layout like this. In ClickUp there are actually 5 ways to make tasks. This is in my opinion the best way to make tasks. The same as well with OneNote and Nimbus. Here I need to mention that you can be really creative, like create a table and add your tasks in your column, however you like. I'm going to give 10 points for Notion, 9 for ClickUp and 8.5 for Nimbus and OneNote. Last but not least is design. In Nimbus you're able to attach colored dots to your notes, which I think is great. That gives you a more interesting, motivating overview. Also the sidebar structure is well made and looks similar to OneNote, and a bit to Notion and ClickUp. I also like these little features on the top and how they are designed. I'll give Nimbus 8 out of 10 points for design. 
In ClickUp there are a lot of colors and you can change them. Also the symbols look very enjoying to the eye. The sidebar looks a little bit like in Notion. The only thing that bothers me a bit are these emojis that somehow don't harmonize with each other. I give it a 7.5 out of 10 points. The design in Notion is fantastic. You get to import pictures as your cover on the top. You can also add emojis, which I really like. And the arrangement overall with the sub pages looks a bit like in fancy internet web pages, but made by yourself. It gets 9 out of 10 points. OneNote has the typical Microsoft Office design, but with the violet top bar. The thing with Microsoft Office is that it looks very serious and when I open this app, the site sometimes doesn't motivate me as much as when I open Notion for example. So regarding design they get 7 out of 10 points from me. Alright, these are the results. The third place with 33.5 points goes to both OneNote and Nimbus. The second place with 34.5 points goes to ClickUp. And the winner is Notion with 36 points. This is a ranking based on my opinion and you may disagree or agree with it. And I'll be happy to continue the discussion in the comment section. Let me also know if I forgot something and what you want to see in the next videos. Thanks for watching and leave a like if you enjoyed this video and see you in the next one. Bye.